the Grecian uh, yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's an ageing thing, OK? So now, Mickey, what do we make? Give me some butter. Mm -hmm. If you can give me some butter and some oil. No, seriously, remember when we were told not to cook with butter? Yes. I mean, what? Butter just brings the whole... And butter is better... They went? But when? That's it? Mm. And also use a bit of oil with your butter so your butter doesn't brown. Yes. OK? Can you put in the flour? Mm -hmm. We need a good couple of tablespoons because yeah. we've got... Keep going. Oh, look at that. A bit oh, more. It's starting that is to amazing. It's isn't starting it? to thicken down now. That's it. That's it. See, it's starting to thicken now. You bit, can tell. Bit of tomato? Yeah, about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Right. Yeah, can you just pour in mm -hmm. the stock? And as I keep mixing it. Yep. This is the homemade stock. That's it. Yeah. One hour maximum. Yep. Six litres, a couple of kilos of bones. Saffron uh. gives it flavour and it gives it colour. Oh, look at that. Okay, and I'll use saffron when I make your yep. bouillon base. Yep. And fennel is, is used, it's got that aniseed, which is perno. Wonderful. More stock? Yes, more stock. How many people got out there? One, two, three, a few, Mickey. four, five, six, and 28, while you, while you're 29, putting in 30. There, I've got to put in my Celery. vegetables, which I should have put in a bit earlier, but it doesn't mm. matter, because they finally die. And by the time mm. everything boils... More, more. Yes, I reckon we, we need all that stock. Okay. Onion. Onion. Now, yeah. leeks. Honestly, cooking yeah. with leeks. I think people are rediscovering leeks. You know, rather than going for a brown onion or a white onion, if you use leeks and then cut them up very finely, they're absolutely fantastic. Okay. <laughs> this will take a while. Yep. We need to bring it back to the boil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in... The, the seafood. The seafood. So we'll put the lid on and let it go until it okay. comes back to boiling point. Now, this has been boiling for, you know, what, 15? Yeah, yeah yep. about 15. Now, yep. the seafood. Potato. What would you like first? Prawns. Prawns. They've been just South cut Australian. up. Beautiful prawns. Look at that. That's taken you ten years to hold that. That's it. Can't. <laughs> See, what Muscles. happens normally when we present the um, seafood like that, it goes like that, and so you don't see what goes. It took us 15 years to work this out. You go like that. Simple so instruction. The, the scallops. Oh, look at that. And they got their roe. See that? That's the female scallop. That's the roe. Patati. I'll give right. that a stir, and if okay. you want to season it off with... Mm -hmm. Paprika. A little bit of that. Yep, that should do it. We work to exact measurements, all right? <laughs> Never try to copy our recipes. We've got no pepper. idea when we've got to write them up. This is a little bit more potent. That should do it. Yep. And, and Worcestershire sauce. This is it. It's Because I've always had a speech <laughs> impediment problem. <laughs> so could you just put in a little bit of that? We, on this? How we've stayed together for all these years. I don't years. know. I do not know. Okay. Uh, idea and then that. we'll put in a bit of parsley. Fabulous. A little bit of cream. A little bit of cream. Yeah. It needs to boil a bit more, but yeah. how's that for a pot? I know, oh, it's strong. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here it is. Seafood chowder for the hungry crowd.